Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rule the Waves uh, with me, one on a Roach. Uh, and in the last episode we had the major fight, the first battle of the Adriatic between the Austro-Hungarian Empire, uh, with me, uh, and, uh, the, uh, and the Italian, uh, the Kingdom of Italy, I think. I'm not exactly sure. I think that's the royal flag. Uh, well, the Austro-Hungary versus Italy. Uh, here, during that fight, we sank one destroyer and two heavy cruisers, uh, and actually we can check that specifically. Uh, with Italy, we can go to our, the sank ships, and in that fight, uh, the only heavy cruisers we've sank so far against Italy uh, in this game, uh, one was a 13.2 thousand uh, ton uh, ship uh, with uh, two 9-inch guns, 16 6-inch guns, and two torpedo tubes, speed 22 knots. One, The other one was a 7,600 ton ship with uh, four 8-inch guns. Uh, nothing to write home about, but we did kill them, though they, one of them was one of their legacy ships, one of them was actually built post, uh, start of the game, so at least, at least we got that going for us. So, we are still blockaded, but we have lessened their heavy cruiser complement, uh, we have also taken out, uh, a couple of ships, uh, during the uh, the war because we also took out one of the bat one of their battleships their normal battleships not the dreadnoughts uh, with a event so that's good our submarines are still on unrestricted uh, and uh, if we go to here we have 21 new subs rolling off the line in four months we just have to hold on for four more months and we'll be able to do that uh, though that is going to be harder because we are definitely lacking some ships now. We took a lot of damage. It was minor damage, but we took damage during the last fight. So that's going to cause problems in the future. Because uh, uh, one of our light cruisers will be out for three months. One will be down two months. Though it looks like most everything other than uh, some, of the, uh, some of the older battleships. Yeah, only one of them's out for two months. So actually, it might not be as bad. But we'll see. Uh, hopefully we can uh, hold on. Again, four more months, then we have a new submarine fleet, and we can actually start starving them out. So quality control two, we saved some weight on armor. Uh, we actually increased our torpedo technology a little bit. 13-inch naval guns. Holy shit, quality zero two. Oh, oh, thank God. Ah, <sighs> that is, that is really good. Uh, submarine sinks seven ships, actually. That's pretty good. They sink only one ship in return. Our our battleship Snow Fox has been sunk by a mine. Oh. Oh, it was doing so well. She was doing so well. Oh, that sucks. Um, I am not going to present for a fleet action right now. We're not going to go for a convoy attack or a cruiser action. Oh, the Snow Fox. The Snow Fox... One battle star wasn't that bad of a ship. Four 11-inch guns. We had a decent design with this one. It was a it was mid-range at the time. It was slow for, I mean, currently in today is uh, or in, in the our current fleet, it's a little under armored, a little under gun, a little slow, but uh, yeah. Oh well. So okay. That uh, that actually hurts us a bit, because that means we are lacking uh, one of our battleships, and we do not have a lot of those to spare. So that kind of sucks. Uh, again, th I think it's three more months. Three more months until we get more subs. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Armed merchant cruisers are now rolling out, which is going to be good. Uh, any of their subs or raiders will hopefully encounter these as Q ships in our convoys, uh, and we'll actually get... Um, Actually, get a bit of uh, uh, of uh, upper hand with that. Our destroyer has been sunk by a mine. Kind of sucks. Uh, we're gonna auto resolve this. Hopefully, we don't lose the ship. Our ship sunk by okay battle cruiser. Yeah, they weren't gonna win that. Uh, I'm fine with that. Well, I'm not fine with it, but <laughs> you know, I I can't blame them for losing. Okay, so with that done. We've got some more armed merchant cruisers coming off the slips here pretty soon. A couple of destroyers. 
seven months for some Carolina class light cruisers to come off the slips as well. We have been blockaded for seven months, though. I mean, it's Austro Hungary. I mean, it's not like we're going to starve. The latest army offensive turned into a bloody stalemate with appalling loss of life. Of course it has. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> God damn it. Uh, okay. Kaiser's considered centering out feelers for peace. What's your advice? We can win this. We can win this. I'm not even, like, saying that just to, like, uh, just, just to keep this war going. We definitely could. Our submarine is torpedoed and sunk an Italian destroyer. Okay. Uh, we lost two subs, but uh, we destroyed three ships. Our light cruiser has been sunk by a mine. Yeah, auto resolve. Okay, they escaped. How many months? One more month until our subs roll off the line. Just double check what the uh, sub count currently is. Yeah, that'll we'll have quite a few over the Italians. Uh, okay. We definitely need to get out some more dreadnoughts. Need more dreadnoughts, which we might be able to swing. Hmm. We build a ship. The monarch. We could. We could do a monarch. We definitely could. Yeah, we're gonna do another one. All right. So we'll have two monarchs currently being built. We still have over a year before the. Next one comes out. I, d I doubt it'll be out for this war. Okay, there we go. Huge number of subs just rolled off. We're in unrestricted submarine warfare, so the these are going to... Intelligence service is considering offering safe passes for a re revolutionary of some renown to his home country, Italy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We definitely want to give him safe passage. Examination of captured enemy munitions. Okay. Demonstrations occur in some cities in Austro-Hungary demanding peace and bread. <sighs> Trade, uh, food shortage in Italy. Okay, so we're both having food shortages. Food shortages. Which is good. Well, I mean, it's not good. I just want them to have them. But that means we're having an effect. Uh, we can't do the coastal bombardment. A lot of resolve this one. Enemy ship. Oh, we, we, we sank one of their light cruisers. That's good. Okay. Okay. So, under construction. We'll have some more destroyers out here pretty soon. Our subs are working really well. We still have quite a bit of spare. Mm, we could. Two battleships, or two dreadnoughts. Could do another Crimson Hussar class. Could do that. Or we could do some armed merchant cruisers. They only take four months to build. Yeah, we'll do that. <sighs> okay. So our merchant cruisers are actually finished their working up. I didn't know they had a working up period, but that's fine. Okay, destroyers rolled off. Scientists have made unexpected advances in armor development. Good. Weight saving on armor. Our submarine, uh, U-23, is torpedoed and sank a... Okay, an Italian destroyer. Don't really care about that. Sank nine ships. We lost five subs, though. That's... It's bad. Uh, coastal bombardment? No, we have to decline that. We'll ought to resolve this. Our raider sank by another light cruiser. What I need to happen is for them to have a revolution. Ah, <sighs> what do they have under construction? All right, things are still coming off the slipways. Okay, serious disturbances are reported in Italy. That's good. If we can keep prodding that. Uh... Yeah, nothing. French light cruiser, nothing big there. Medium range submarines, that's actually really good. Uh, not that we really need them. We're operating in the Mediterranean, which means our coastal submarines will actually work just fine. 
Uh, if we, I mean, if we did have to deal with like Russia or Germany or the UK or something like that, not UK, Great Britain, uh, we could definitely send them out to do that. Lost another sub, but we sank 15 ships, which is good. Uh, auto resolve this. Our ships sank by an enemy battlecruiser, as they would be. Uh, hmm. Well, let's build another. Yeah, let's build a battle cruiser. I think we can we can afford it. Yeah, yeah, we can afford it. I think the next thing we really need to do let's let's, let's compare our size navies. They have three dreadnoughts on R one. They have two battle cruisers to R two battle cruisers. They have eighteen battleships to R seven battleships. Seven heavy cruisers to our 16 heavy cruisers. Uh, 10 light cruisers to our 16 light cruisers, though a majority of our light cruisers are deployed as raiders. They have eight armed merchant cruisers to our eight armed merchant cruisers. They have uh, they have three destroyers on us. And they have a lot more minesweepers than us. What I'm thinking we could do, we also have to remember, like because they have so many minesweepers, their destroyers are all deployed as active fleet. They're not coastal patrolling right now. So that means that these are all going to be deployed while 18 of ours, or well, actually 14 of ours are deployed as uh, coastal patrols. So they still outnumber us by quite a bit. We need another fleet action. We just need to make sure it's the right one. We can't afford to like rush out and kind of go off half cocked. I mean, if we could keep going for a little bit longer we can get some of these light cruisers out here as screens for the next battle that could work some more merchant cruisers okay we sank seven ships they sank two of ours we sank one of the italian uh austrian raiders you know hey we we actually had a raider that worked another one another one hmm food shortages in italy Enemy coastal raid. It's a large battle. The majority of their things are going to be deployed. If we deny this, we give them 85. We're going to do this. This is the best we can get. Hmm. Okay, so wait. Uh, battle Cruiser Division 1. More than one core division following. Battle uh, Cruiser Division Force, which is independent. Okay, so Division One is this one. Four is this. Yeah, so Division One will have you as a screen. That way we'll have that going. Now the big thing about this is they have an and they have a target which we have to stop them from killing now that means it's going to be an installation with the name installation zero i think uh let me find it it's installation seven well where the hell are they going to because that's a bombardment target is or at least that's what it's supposed to be if i remember right so let's keep going i guess You have a clear day, though. I think, yeah. Well, it's cloudy, but I mean, it's no big deal. So let's keep going here. Sit. I'm, I'm zooming out because there's this. Uh, usually, there's a uh, radio message where, if, like, uh, a merchant will spot like the enemy fleet or kind of give you a hint of where they're at. Not seeing that though. And it's normal because they have a. Usually it switches to normal like that if uh, the enemy fleet is shooting at something. So where the hell are they? Hmm. Okay, we found them. Okay. 
four. Okay, we know that's wrong. For one, because they don't have four dreadnoughts. Uh, okay, so we're going to go to Squadron Max. Squadron Max. Squadron Max. Okay. AI controlled. We're going to have you go from Scout to Support. And we have an Armed Merchant Cruiser section. Oh, my God. Why are you ever a thing. Okay. Well, since these guys are doing that, let's uh swing up with these. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to move up into them because we have to kill them. Now what I'm hoping is that we are not incredibly outnumbered. Well, it looks like hoping didn't matter because uh, we are incredibly outnumbered. So we're going to have these heavy cruisers fold back into the main kind of fleet. Move these guys over here. We're going to keep our Battle cruisers moving up though, because they're presenting with their battle cruisers. So hopefully we can get a broadside on them. Come on, okay, and move up. Present your broadside. All right, we hit two ships. We're gonna have our heavy cruisers straighten out. Up, light cruisers. Move in a little bit closer. Okay. I actually think we have more of I think we have more battle cruisers than them. We have more battle cruisers. They have more heavy cruisers than us. And they definitely have more support ships, like uh destroyers. Because uh, half of our destroyer allotment was uh, somehow given over to our merchant cruisers, which actually I uh, should probably switch them over to being coastal patrol and then switch the destroyers back. I'll have to remember that when we uh, get out of this battle. So what I'm going to do is we're going to move towards this swarm as a unit and kind of uh, come around these guys. I don't. I don't want to get too cocky here, but we can definitely use this opportunity to kind of cull their uh, destroyer fleet, hopefully. They're all moving in a line up through here, which is not good for them, actually, because they're gonna if they keep moving up like that and we keep moving they're either going to cross in which place we'll cross as well and we'll just have their backs to an island or they go this way and then they're kind of stuck they either have to thread the needle here to get back out or double back up through here hmm. we're not doing bad uh, they took a secondary battery hit, but that's not a big deal. They took one heavy hit. It's not a big deal, really. And uh, Crimson Asar hasn't taken any, so that's good. Oh, no. Please tell me you're not dead. Max speed, so squadron max. Okay, that was uh, squadron max 16, so they're going to be slow now. <sighs> so let's let's start juking. Uh, you're going to follow the Crimson Asar as a screen AI-controlled line ahead. 
We'll do that. Maybe not screen, maybe just as a core unit. Okay. Yeah, we're uh, definitely going to have a bit of trouble now. The Triol took a uh, pretty bad hit with that torpedo. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, did we, do, did we just do that? Sorry, if you didn't notice... Um, by the way, did the trail is the trail taking on water now that I think about it? Are they are they taking on water? I think they might be taking on water. Much flooding, turret jammed. Yeah, I think they're definitely having some trouble with flooding. But didn't notice we hit the uh we hit their battle cruiser, and now their battle cruiser is moving at ten knots which either means he's slowing down to catch up with the majority element that's stuck back here, or we hit his engine room, which would be the best thing that's ever happened to me in this game, if I actually managed to hit an engine room. So we're going to use this opportunity to, uh, to juke, because those destroyers are getting very close. Keep going like this. See, the majority of their uh, heavy cruisers... Oh my god, by the way, we need to move you out of here because you're an idiot. Um, the majority of the heavy cruisers and stuff like that are getting caught on the island, so we're actually incredibly lucky right now. Um, I'm very surprised by this. Did we... Yeah, we actually sank one of them. That's good. Uh, you need to be put on... Not as a screen, you need to be put as support. AI controlled for, yeah, Crimson Asar. There we go. I'll get you out of there. Okay, we're going to move you to support Crimson Asar, or core to Crimson Asar. That'll work. We're just going to keep juking Back and forth. Okay, yeah, I thought that was too good to be true. Uh, I'm going to need you to move... You're going to support the Triol as a core unit. Uh, wherever it is. It's back here. So, yeah. You're going to support the Triol as a support unit as well. Because sooner or later these guys are going to... Uh, break away from this whatever they've caught themselves into. We didn't take a major hit, did we? No, just some structure damage from a heavy hit, which I'm assuming was the, uh... Uh... Yeah, it was their battle cruiser. They fired, uh, some heavy guns at us. Still going, no, they're going 15 knots, so they've definitely fixed themselves a little bit. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to swing back around with the Crimson Asar, because they are definitely caught by this island. Uh, as a screen, AI yeah, controlled. I definitely don't want to deal with you guys right now. I just need to deal with this right here. Come on, he can do this. Now if it gets if they get too bad, I'm definitely gonna pull out of here. Oh, okay. Did some medium damage to a lot of these guys. That's the thing, is we can't depend on our uh, outnumbering them anymore, because they, uh, 
check out the trail. We're definitely hitting them pretty bad. Actually, how fast can theirs go? 26 knots. So they can out. Ooh, they can outrun us, but their turret on the rear of their ship is destroyed, which means they cannot present a major gun towards us. Which is actually a major boon to our, uh, our chasing engagement right now. They've definitely uh, started getting their way out of this uh, this hole that they're in down there. Still got some things scattered about. We essentially broke their formation. They are completely scattered. I'm loving this. Yeah, Crimson Osar is doing fine. Is the tree old dead? Or is it... Uh, eh, it's it's going to sink, probably. Uh, what actually you should do is stop being AI controlled. Go to... Go to cruise, I guess. Stop being AI controlled. Okay with that. Go to a cruise. Actually, go to like 10 knots. And just try and make it back to the port, I guess, would be the best option for you. Uh, they took another hit, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, their four, uh, their four and a half guns are completely out, so they've only got two 12-inch guns left, uh, which makes them a great target for me right now. Again, I can't, I can't just stay in one thing. I have to keep kind of juking back and forth here. All of these ships have torpedoes, and I'm very close to them. Oh, that was a that was a ten gun broadside with twelve inchers. Just hit their battle cruiser. And I hit them four times. Oh yeah, they're they're hurting after that. Gonna make a kind of a wide turn here. I'm gonna make another side to them. Yeah, there we go. If we can kill this battle cruiser, that would be golden for us. Yeah, I think all their stuff is kind of just moving back towards here. They have a couple of things in the rear here, but I mean, we're talking heavy damage 5 knots, heavy damage 10 knots. Like, these, these destroyers are dead. Like, it doesn't matter what happens. Okay. Magazine explosion down there, which is good. Uh, this the Genoa is not actually that damaged, but it's not my main target right now. I don't give a shit about the Genoa, uh, this Genoa class ship. All I care about is this. Yes, it's sinking. Just give me one. One more good broadside. No! I got greedy. I got too greedy. Yeah, he's yeah, he's taking he's taking on water. We're gonna break off here. We're just gonna break off. We're gonna go cruising speed. Ship to control, it's fine. going. <sighs> Just get back to harbor. Maybe the trio can make it back there. Crimson Asar is limiting flooding, which is good.
Now, trail the core. Yeah. I'll make you a screen. Maybe that'll make you get in front of the Crimson SR. Yep. Yes to all. Ah. Come on, Trail. Just make it back. You can do it. AI yeah, controlled. We don't want you doing that. Cruise. Yeah, we'll go cruise at 10. You still taking on water? No, I think you're limiting flooding, which is good. We can get you back there. Come on. There we go. <sighs> just need to run out the time and see the results. Last time I saw anything, the uh, battle, the enemy battle cruiser was sinking, and uh, so was everything else they had that uh, was in sight. So let's hope. Come on. And it's morning. So we fought all throughout the night. We even had a, a midnight magazine explosion, which uh, uh, seems to happen a lot. Like, it seems to happen. Magazine explosions seem to happen at night for some reason. They've always happened to me at night. Uh, and uh, come on. There we go. No opposing sides. This is a major victory. This is a major victory. So we killed one of... Yes, we sank a battle cruiser. We sank two light cruisers and ten... My god, we sank ten destroyers? I didn't even know that. We lost one auxiliary, so I think that was one of the... Uh, our merchant cruisers ran aground. Uh, we had heavily damaged uh, both of our battle cruisers, though. So we may have killed one of theirs, but we took two torpedo hits. I was a little too greedy. And we got one destroyer heavily damaged. Actually, now that I think about it, eh, I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. I mean, both our battle cruisers are going to be out of commission for a couple of months, but totally worth it. So yes, we'll do that. Yes, two prestige points. This is really good. And we got so many points out of that. 5,000. Yes, we'll call that... Uh, yeah, we'll call it that. Yeah, it was pretty close to that. So, we'll... I think that was the port we were around. I'm not sure. So, wow. That was a fight. Uh, just full of them in this war. Uh, really good fights. But uh, looking at the time, I think that is about uh, it for us. Uh, for this episode, at least. Uh, if... Uh, uh, if uh, wow, I just... Uh, completely derped on the outro. Um, uh, well, that's the end of time for us. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, check out the other episodes. Or And uh, I will definitely see you guys next time.